Hi everyone, I hope all of you have been safe and well. Today's topic will be quite relatable to almost everyone, which is the COVID-19 pandemic and what we bring in our everyday bag. However, I will be doing a slight twist to that, which is a sneak peek into a doctor's work bag. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Loki and I am also a medical doctor. I have started this channel just because I love pre-loved and vintage luxury and thought I would like to share a few of my thoughts and experiences with you. For those of you new to this channel, please like and subscribe and click on that notification bell for updates. Today's topic is so close to our hearts, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. Honestly, it has affected all of us to a certain extent. Some people, their vacation plans, some their jobs, their livelihood, their health, and some their lives. We are still in the middle of it. Some countries have managed to open up now, while others are still under lockdown. Currently, I am in Singapore and we have been fortunate enough to reopen selected businesses like retail, medical services, and dining out. From my observation, people here are still very cautious with their hygiene and taking social distancing seriously. From a healthcare worker and doctor's perspective, this has been a long drawn battle for about five months now. And honestly, we have been pulling long hours at the hospitals and clinics, and in general, just very overworked. Many doctors have been redirected from their own specialties to help out at the front line to perform swabbing, ward rounds and caring for the patients with uh, positive COVID. Of course, personal hygiene has always been the top priority for us to keep ourselves safe and healthy first before we can carry on to tend to others. On a lighter note, let's get started on what's inside my doctor's bag and this will be featuring the bare basic essentials that I would bring to survive a day at the hospital. First up, this is my trusty leather bag from Revu, which is a local brand from Singapore. This was purchased more than 10 years ago, but I have been using this for about 4 years now. I like this bag because it is easy to carry with just one shoulder strap and two small side pockets for card and keys. This is made with soft buttery lamb skin leather and from the number of years I have used it, it is extremely durable. This is my doctor's bag up close. It is uh, from Raru and in lamb skin leather. So I did mention about the two side pockets here which are so useful and I keep small bits like card and keys. And there as well okay it is in beautiful gold hardware and you can see that okay now let's look at the handles which is also in lambskin leather now just look at the zipper pull it's beautiful and we will just lightly open the bag you can see my bag organizer in there and we will try to fit my things into my bag alright so I have my blue organizer here and I've just taken it out of the bag we will go through everything one by one and I'll explain to you why I bring it on a daily basis so first up this is my Littman stethoscope I've had this since I started med school and um, I bring it around all the time so love the color blue and it is really useful when you have your own pair so that you don't have to uh, run around the wards to look for uh, an, a spare stethoscope. Okay, next up will be of course my water tumbler. This is extremely important on a hot day and where you're, when you are doing 10 to 14 hour shifts. So those are really important. Uh, next up is my personal protection equipment which is uh, this uh, lab goggles so I bring it uh, in case there are splashes uh, around and it's definitely useful when you have your own pair okay uh, next we'll talk about my wallet so of course these are all my um, the cards and money in there and we have the coin pouch where I put my coins and keys definitely important 
Um, I do bring some pens as well so we do not have to run around to look for pens because I have that on me all the time. Okay, uh, we, I also bring my hair ties because when we actually don on uh, the PPE, these are very important to keep your hair tidy and neat. Okay, next up, of course, when you're doing a 14 hour shift, uh, charging your phone is extremely important. So these are the wires that I bring with me all the time. I cannot survive a day without this. So definitely would need this for the phone. Um, I also do have my doctor's stamp. So this is really useful. Okay, we bring it all the time. So that's to help with prescriptions and of course uh, for medications. It's more like a signature um, to prove that it is a valid prescription. And I do carry around some alcohol swaps as well. I think this is mostly for uh, on in the hospital. Um, it's always good to have some with you. And uh, next is my hospital card. So this is like a tap card. It gets you into uh, certain um, departments and rooms um, for hospital entry. Definitely, I would need that every day. I also have my mint. This is really just to keep me on the go, um, just for your throat and really useful, I find. Um, I like to bring along um, vitamin C as well. So this is from just a ge generic brand, uh, vitamin C with zinc. I bring it all the time when I'm running long days. Um, immune system tend to be low, so we always bring that along. Okay. Uh, we, I also have my own um, personal sanitize, hand sanitizer. This is from Dettol. Although we do not need to bring our own because we have that at the wards and clinics all the time, but I like to have my own set. And last but not least, uh, this is a dengue or mosquito insect repellent spray. Uh, we do have an issue with dengue in Singapore and um, you know sometimes we get bitten when we are out so definitely good to have my own. Alright, so looks like I have emptied that out and next I will be talking about the type of mask that I will be bringing and I'll just go through with you um, certain surgical masks and um, certain N95 masks that uh, you would encounter on the wards. Alright, so I have here a couple of uh, masks here in uh, different grades and I will show you just one by one on um, what is available out there. So first up are the surgical masks. So these are for you know civilians out in the streets, always good to get one. Uh, they are in three layer uh, material and it is waterproof. First up, I have this, the basic one which has the ear loops at the side. I find this extremely useful, uh, mainly because you can just don it on and off and it's easy to hydrate when we need to. Okay, we also have the ones with the ties at the side. So this two loops behind uh, and you tie a ribbon at the back and the bottom two you also tie a ribbon. Although this is a little bit more inconvenient when you need to drink water, but I feel that you don't you actually avoid touching your face with this because you're just undoing the ties at the back. Alright, so next we will talk about the N95 that um, I have encountered in the hospitals. Um, first up is this uh, N95, so this is really, really medical grade um, uh, mask that we use in the hospitals to treat um, COVID positive patients. I have one here with me, I haven't opened it up yet um, because I do not need to at the moment but I have a uh, one which I have already opened. So it looks like this. Okay, I really like this one. Um, it's in the size 9210 and of course uh, as medical workers we would need to do our mask fitting before uh, encountering patients with um, this infectious disease. So with this it has uh, the, the uh, straps at the back and that goes around the head and if you flip that open you notice that there is this layer of foam with a bit of a wire uh, on the inside because that actually you bend it according to the shape of your nose so that is how you put it on okay this bit below wraps around your chin so basically it goes on like this 
Okay, I really like this one. I find it really comfortable to use, uh, mainly because of the layer of sponge here, and it doesn't dig into your nose. Right, next up is another one. It's another N95 that is quite similar, but this is a bit like a dark beak. And uh, if you can see, of course the straps are like this and it opens up this way as well. And with the wire here, you can bend it according to the shape of your nose and that loops around the chin below, okay? And that looks like a duck if you wear it. So it looks kind of funny. Um, I do not quite like wearing this mask, mainly because uh, this wire does dig into um, your cheeks uh, after long hours and of course with this elastic strap sometimes it does get caught on the hair as well and it is quite uncomfortable all right so the next mask i have is one from the 3m brand and this looks like a shell um, it is in the size 8110s which fits my face shape and size and as you can tell, there is a wire running on the exterior of the mask. This wire, as compared to the other one, is really stiff and really difficult to mold according to your nose shape. As you can tell, on the inside, there is also a thin layer of sponge and that hopefully just sits on the nose bridge, so at least it provides some comfort. I feel that this wire is a bit too stiff and sometimes it is difficult to just press it according to your nose shape uh, as compared to the other one. Um, as, as for the sponge, this sponge is really thin. So, you know, when you wear an N95 for long hours, this is really uncomfortable. Um, the area below here loops around the chin um, and of course you would need one that would fit your face shape. For me, I feel that this is probably the closest size I can get to my face shape. But still, I do find the sides kind of uh, not really fitting my chin because it's a bit broad. Um, this mask also comes with two rubber ties which then goes around the back of your, of your head. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video and sneak peek into a doctor's work bag of just the bare essentials. I hope all of you stay safe and keep clean and I will see you back here in the next video. So stay tuned, take care and goodbye.